What's up agents and welcome back to another Division news video. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And we're coming in hot with the 19.3 Christmas patch that's coming tomorrow. Probably around 8.30 UK time. The maintenance will probably start for around 3 hours. Hopefully it will let us know. If you need a community Discord though, join that down below in the description. You'll get the link if you need help with like the incursion, raids and all things like that. With all that said though, let's crack on with these patch notes. I've not read them in full myself, so hopefully some of this will be a surprise for me as well. So it starts off straight away with the incursion with Paradise Lost. Fixed the issue with the mission occasionally remaining stuck on the secure the area after defeating the last boss and all enemies. Luckily enough, I've not had that happen, but good that it's being fixed. Fixed the issue with the door that leads to the next beat not opening after killing Moss. If all party members are inside the room where he spawns. Now I've had this a bunch actually. So I, what it is, is after the tanker section. If you all kind of jump through the door. And then shoot him in the back. Because it's easier to stagger him and kill him that way. The door doesn't shut. Someone has to go back outside into the tanker area. And then come back in for the mission to progress. And for everyone to carry on. So I've seen that a few times. Just totally depends if people like to jump through or, or don't jump through essentially so good that it's being fixed though so that's that's something else so weapons and gear fix the issue with the backbone empress international and battery pack backpacks core attribute being set to skill tier every affected backpack will have their core attribute changed to armor the attribute will not be reversed if recalibrated all right so that's strange because empress international should be yellow and that's been rolling red. So hopefully that's just a mistranslation or a mistake in the patch notes. But I guess we'll uh, we'll see tomorrow if the uh, the Empress or the battery pack, which should be yellow, end up uh, not being and end up being blue, which will just still be a problem. And that's going to kill some Empress builds as well. So let's just see what happens with that tomorrow. Fingers crossed there's a snare in the patch notes. Uh, fix the issue with the agent's hand clipping through the carnage named light machine gun. All right, that's great. Uh, duplicates of specialization pistols obtained when transferring them between agents through the stash can now be deconstructed, but give no resources. Great. Uh, manhunt. Fix the issue with sub performance drop when Mel Arnold bounty was active. That's a shame because I think there's a few more issues with the, the manhunt. I always hold off because there always seems to be issues with the manhunt. Let me know. In the comments down below if you've been affected by anything uh, but i think there's a few more issues that they need to be looking at from that uh ui fix the issue with the missing art for the woodwork and wall street bundles cool uh fix the issue with the incorrect objective message display for the goal project salvager crew at the theater i mean i've not done that for a long time i don't think but yeah i mean that's great Winter projects. This is the stuff I think we're, you know, we're all kind of waiting for what we're going to be doing uh, for the, the winter event. So let's see what it is that they're bringing. The annual winter holiday celebrations will be back in the Division 2 this December. With, uh, and with it, and with it, the return, and with it, the return of festive themed cosmetics. Some old and new. Uh, the winter project scavenger hunt starts on December the 5th, which is tomorrow. And ends on January the 9th. So plenty of time, hopefully, for everyone to get everything. Uh, the Winter Project is available for all players, regardless of ownership of DLC. All objectives are located in Washington, D.C. That's great. 15 new projects for all players to take on, with 15 rewards to unlock, 10 of which are completely new items. So is that just cosmetic? This December, and with it, the return of festive themed cosmetics some old and some new the 15 projects for players to take on with 15 rewards to unlock 10 of which are completely new items so that to me just says that they're all cosmetics right and we're not getting anything like the slayer or the the jingle snipe or whatever it was called or maybe we are maybe it's just you know so it says with the festive return of themed cosmetics, some old and some new. So like the Santa mask, we had the Santa hat, the costume and stuff and things like that. So maybe it is just cosmetics. I mean, if it was 10, you know, festive guns or gear, that would stash base. I mean, that's the first thing that comes to 
my thought, but looks like it's just themed cosmetics. Well, that's fun. We all like a, a themed cosmetic or two. Well, some of us do anyway. I see you, YouTube comments. Uh, other added murals to the castle sliding gates. All right. Added multiple localization fixes and fixed multiple issues affecting audio. And that's it. So there is a bit coming tomorrow. Uh, maybe not for everybody to get too excited about. I mean, the main theme is the, you know, is the, the winter project and the, what looks like to just be cosmetics. Am I a little bit sad that I'm not getting a assault rifle that shoots snowballs or something? I'm a little bit. I was kind of hoping that we would get something, you know, to go with the sniper rifle and with the slayer and stuff and things like that. But maybe we are. Maybe, you know, maybe there is something hidden away in there that we don't know about. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And come and say hi because I'm going live right now. Thanks for watching, agents. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.